And the DRDO successfully conducted the flight trial of long-range hypersonic missile from APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the Odisha coast. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, he in fact lauded the DRDO team and said that India has achieved a major milestone. And my colleague Vishnu Shom joins us uh, to get us more on this. Vishnu, how significant is this for India? Well, the DRDO is a defense research and development organization. And uh, I, in very, in, in, if I was to summarize this test in a single word, I would say that it is among the most consequential missile tests in India's history. Uh, this is a, the, India's first long-range hypersonic missile test. It's a, a test of a missile which has ranges of greater than 1,500 kilometers. And I think it's important to understand what a hypersonic missile is. A hypersonic missile flies at speeds above Mark 5. In other words, speeds above five times uh, the speed of sound. And unlike other missiles, such as ballistic missiles, it has the ability of maneuvering at these, uh, at these speeds, which make it practically impossible to intercept or defend against, given the present surface-to-air missile systems which do exist. Only a handful of countries uh, are known to be working on hypersonic technology. Russia has deployed a hypersonic weapon called the Zircon. That's been used in Ukraine. But over here, India has gone ahead and flight tested a, a very significant missile itself with an extreme range of 1,500 kilometers. Uh, this is uh, going to ultimately be a huge force multiplier for the Indian armed forces. There is one uh, or two sentences over here which are important. Um, the release from the government says, and, and we've got video of that, I hope you're playing out that video as well. The missile was tracked by various range systems deployed in multiple domains. The flight data obtained from downrange ship stations confirmed the successful terminal maneuvers and impact with a high degree of accuracy. India tests are missiles off the coast of Odisha, of uh, Abdul Kalam Island, which was once known as Wheeler Island. These are tested deep into the uh, Bay of Bengal. There was a NOTAM or notice to airmen and sailors informing people, the international community, that a certain area needed to have been avoided in a particular time because there was an incoming missile test. And that test has now proven to be successful, the missile hitting its target with a high degree of accuracy.